I see restoration coming. I see restoration and it's coming. We're entering into a season of restoration where God is about to make the crooked places straight and the wrong things right. Justice is coming. The judge is ruling in our favor. And favor surrounds us like a shield. And even our enemies are going to be at peace with us. I see restoration coming for the losses of the past season. I see restoration coming. Oh, the enemy thought he'd stolen your hope or stolen your health or stolen your finances. But oh, the Lord says, I am a God of restoration. I'm the God of double for your trouble. I am the God of the hundredfold return. I am the God who can do what I has not seen nor ear heard or even entered into your heart, says your Lord. So believe me for restoration. I will even restore the years that the locust worm ate, says the Lord. I will restore your joy, weeping may endure for a night. But joy is coming. New life is coming. New hope, new faith, all things new just for you. Because you stood in the furnace of affliction. Because you stood in the refiner's fire. Because you stood and withstood in the evil day when the enemy was attacking and you did not stray from my heart. You kept looking at me. You kept waiting for me, says the Lord. I am the God of restoration. And you will be glad. You will be happy. You will not be restless any longer, says your Lord, waiting and wondering when I will step into your circumstance because I am in it right now. Discern my presence. Discern my hand at work in your life, says God. I'm turning things upside down. I'm bringing things right side up. I am restoring even now. Didn't I tell you I'd work it all out for your good? Didn't I tell you that what the enemy meant for your harm, I would bring it around to your good? Didn't I tell you? Here I am. I'm doing what I said I would do. So keep trusting. Even though you don't see it with your eyes yet, keep trusting. Even though nothing seems to have changed just yet, keep trusting. Restoration is coming. And this is just the beginning. So we say thank you in advance. Lord, thank you for the restoration. Aha. Uh -huh. Restoration of riches. Restoration of joy. Restoration of peace. Restoration of relationships. Restoration of your own mind. Restoration. Restoration of assignments. Restoration. 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 Thank you, Lord. We're waiting. We're going to see it. We're going to have it. Order our steps to it, says, says the Lord. Or oh, I'll order your steps to it, says the Lord. I will order your steps to it. So follow me, says the Lord. I'm taking you to a place where you've never been before. I'm ordering your steps. I literally just saw a bright white door in the spirit marked restoration. And he's leading us there. He's guiding us there. I see that, Lord. And the Lord says, I have one condition. Ooh. Forgive those who hurt you. Forgive those who stole from you. Forgive those who maligned you, persecuted you, abused you, accused you. Forgive them. Forgive them and bless them. <laughs> we do, Lord. We forgive them. 
even if we forgave them before we forgive them right now in your presence we forgive them we don't want to hang up our restoration we want to hold it up or hold it back we want to hear your voice because you said you'd order our steps to that door we don't want to miss it we don't want to be so caught up in our vengeance mindset hurt wounded no we give it all to you we lay it at the foot of the cross all the pain all the hurt we lay it at the foot of the cross all the anger we lay it at the foot of the cross take it away from us God we choose forgiveness and you forgive them Lord for they don't know what they're doing they didn't know what they were doing not really if they knew they would never have done it if they saw the ripple effect that it would cause in their own life the open doors of attack and so we forgive them and we ask you to forgive them too in Jesus name